oh, I almost had a heart attack. This was one of the most creepy things I've ever done in my life. Just, oh, I need to breathe. <laughs> and welcome back to episode two. I hope you liked that intro. It took way too long to make. I know my hair is a mess, everything's a mess, this whole episode is a mess. So here's the thing. My video went online about nine days ago, I believe. And after it went online, the response has been amazing. Seriously, guys, thank you so much. I was so motivated to get episode two out as soon as possible and get started and back to work right away, but it didn't quite work out. But yeah, now I'm back, I'm here for episode two and let's get started. If you haven't watched the first episode, you should probably go watch that first before you watch this video because it makes a lot more sense and you probably need some context to understand this. So in the last video, we were working on the agent which sends the system monitoring data to the database and now we're working on the client which gets the data from the database and displays it in a nice manner. So my vision for this client program is to have a command line interface and actually have some sort of dashboard in the command line where we can see all of our servers or just one server at a time and basically just have a lot of information at once. Okay, I actually threw together the basics of this program in about one or two hours of work a few days ago and now I'm just going to explain exactly what's going on and then we're going to continue working on it and making it better. Okay, just as with the agent, we are using Cobra, the library for the CLI, again, to make this application a command line interface. So if I execute the program and then execute the specific command host, and then pass the host name of a system that is already in the database, in this instance, it's Ubuntu. If I execute this, I get a table that shows me all of these stats from the latest entry into the database. That is already pretty old, but that doesn't really matter. Basically what we do is we take the arguments that we pass to this command, in this case Ubuntu, and then execute stats from hostname, which gets the newest row of data from the database for this specific hostname. So the hostname that gets passed is used for the query, and then we just assign all of the values we get back to all of the variables we have declared up here. We take all of these values and use the table writer library from GitHub, which is really awesome, to make a table and basically just append all of these values to that table. And here are all of the titles for the different columns. So all of the database communication is basically done in the database handler.go and that's also where the stats from hostname function is, which I just used. Okay, so this is of course just the basic shell of this program. I want this to be a dashboard that updates constantly in your command line. And to do that, I actually found a pretty cool library called TUI. With this library, I can build a UI in my terminal and that's definitely what I'm looking for. Now I just need to figure out how to use this. So I built a very basic UI with TUI for the command line and it looks like this. The problem is that I tried making it constantly update, but it doesn't really work with this library I believe. And I should have checked that beforehand, but I can't really get it to work. Or I tried it for half an hour. And I think the better option is to change to this library called term UI. 
Having charts and graphs could be very nice for displaying all of the different stats. You might have realized that the setting is quite a bit different than before. I haven't continued working on this project in over a week and I'm actually on vacation in Switzerland right now. I don't know if you can hear me or see me, but I'm going to try and do some astrophotography and it's pitch black and I'm in the woods, but I'm going to try and do some astrophotography, it's pretty creepy, but I'm going to go down to the water. That was one of the most nerve-wracking things I've ever done. It is so unbelievably creepy out here. I mean, the, the images, I think they turned out great even though there were a few clouds. But that was, it's so creepy. Every noise is just, stops your heart. I was sitting next to the river, which was really loud. Oh, what the f that sound. Oh my god, that sound just f***ing stopped my heart. <laughs> oh, I almost had a heart attack. This was one of the most creepy things I've ever done in my life. I think the images turned out great. But that's just so creepy. Sitting there in the absolute pitch black nothingness. And just hearing sounds everywhere. So first, some good news. The day that I uploaded that video was also the day that I got done with all of that tax madness with my business. And now my business is officially registered for taxes and everything, so I got that sorted. That's awesome. And right after that, I actually graduated from high school, which is pretty cool. And after that, things just got crazy. I was searching for an apartment and I got really lucky. I found a really nice apartment right away which was really cool, but I also had to apply for uni and I actually got accepted, which is really cool. But um, yeah, everything has been taking so much time and I got super busy. So that's why I actually couldn't start working on this video. I haven't worked on this project in over a week and I don't think I will continue working on it at the moment because I'm just here to enjoy my vacation and I don't even have any internet for the next week. I know in this video I made very little progress to the project, but um, yeah, life's been crazy and I'm on vacation now, I'm going to enjoy my vacation. So yeah, I'm going to finish this project in part 3. I hope you enjoyed this video even though it was a train wreck and if you did it would be awesome if you could subscribe and like this video. If you want to see part 3 definitely make sure to subscribe and hit that little bell icon to get notified when I upload. So yeah, see you in the next video and thank you for watching, bye bye.